Right now, all 88 counties in Ohio are working to finalize their own exotic animal response team. The state requirement is in response to the 2011 tragedy in Zanesville when dozens of exotic animals had to be killed after their owner released them from their pens. 10 TV's Kurt Ludlow is here with more on Franklin County's plan. Kurt. Well, you're right. Each county must have uh, a team that has at least eight members. Franklin counties will have 14, including the sheriff, other law enforcement officials, a veterinarian, a person trained in first aid, and three exotic animal owners, one of which is a Columbus firefighter. I've had Clyde here, the tortoise, since he's about as big around as a 50 cent piece. Michael Weir says he's been an exotic animal lover his whole life. We had a female African lion. We had uh, all kinds of pheasants and quail and rheas and different animals. We just always was uh, uh, interested and just loved animals. Today, Clyde shares a backyard pen with Arnold the alligator, who was just a foot long when Michael got him. Um, actually, it was a Valentine's Day gift for me from my wife. As you can tell, these aren't just pets. My wife and I, we affectionately call them our boys. And so when Michael was asked to become a member of the Franklin County Dangerous yeah. Wild Animal Response Team, he said yes. I don't think I ever want to see what happened in Zanesville happen again. Uh, too many absolutely beautiful animals were killed. The incident in Zanesville in 2011 is a sobering reminder of what can go wrong. More than 50 exotic animals released from cages, most shot to death to protect the public. Now, all 88 counties must have teams ready to deal with similar events in the future. Michael's confident his knowledge of exotics can help save lives, should the team be called out to capture an escaped exotic. I believe our combined efforts could get that out, animal out of wherever it is alive and then get it somewhere where it can be taken care of. The list of team members will have to be approved by the Ohio Department of Agriculture. Once that happens, the team will meet to create plans for dealing with dangerous wild animals. Reporting live, Kurt Ludlow, 10TV News.